guys. Welcome back to Paleo Profiles and Mr. Sarabian. It's muggy, it's buggy, but I'm hot on the trail. I'm on the trail of something big. I'm on the hunt for this guy. Kulasukas, a 15 foot long salamander. Most of the salamanders that we have nowadays are barely a foot or two. Maybe the biggest ones being about five feet. This one was three times the size. And you're never gonna believe me, but believe it or not, this guy lives in the Antarctic Circle. At the time of the dinosaurs, specifically in the beginning to the middle of the Cretaceous period, Australia was more south than it is today. And it actually was overlapping with the Antarctic Circle. So temperatures out here can get very, very cold. That's why Kulasukas is able to be so successful right now. Because, believe it or not, salamators can handle really low temperatures. We're talking about temperatures below freezing. They can actually slow down their metabolic rates and it allows them to process their foods and to maintain basically almost a form of hibernation. And they're able to handle really cold temperatures. You know it's not able to handle cold temperatures? Crocodiles. In the rock where we find Kulasukas, we find absolutely no crocodiles. So this tells us that Kulasukas was able to fulfill that role in this habitat. So it actually behaved very similar to that of a crocodile. It would spend more of its time in the water. It would then jump out of the water to get prey and then pull it back into the water where it could then kill it and eat it. Believe it or not, that's also why we think Kulasukas went extinct. Once the continent started shifting further northward and Australia started getting warmer, crocodiles started making their way into its territory and then either directly competed with Kulasukas or actually hunted and killed Kulasukas. <laughs> Kulasukas is an amazing salamander and unfortunately just couldn't hold out once the crocodiles made their way into Australia. <sighs> and it's just so buggy out here. I think I'm gonna call it quits, but I really wanted to make sure I gave you the opportunity to see an animal that actually fulfilled the niche of a crocodile, but was a salamander. This is Mr. Sarabian for Paleo Profile saying stay healthy, stay safe.